guys, this is Joy Cho from Oh Joy. Today, I'm going to talk to you about another business topic. So recently, when I was at my Oh Joy book signings, I met with a bunch of women who own their own businesses and are looking to become mothers or looking to start a family soon and their biggest concern was how can I make that happen? Um, they felt like they were worried about how to balance it all when baby does come along and just are there things that they can plan for ahead of time. Um, I think when it comes to motherhood and you guys will probably agree if you are a mother, there's only so much you can plan. Life becomes a little bit more unpredictable. There are a few less things that you are in control of and you kind of just have to make it work. But there are certainly things you can do to plan in advance. I think the biggest challenge is usually if you are self-employed and you're working alone. Let's say you're a freelancer, you're a photographer, an illustrator, and your income comes from you being able to work. Now I think in that case, that's where you can figure out if there is a maternity leave that you can take, how long you can take off for, because there's no boss giving you maternity leave. It's just about how much time you're able to take off comfortably for the finances of your family and also to make sure that your clients are happy that they know that you're going to be leaving for a little bit or scaling back for a little bit. So think about that situation. When I was expecting my first daughter Ruby, I was freelancing as a graphic designer and so my biggest concern were my clients. What was I going to do when they were when I had my baby and they were looking to me for revisions to work or new design projects? And so I made sure that a couple months in advance I let them know about my upcoming maternity leave. I decided to not take on any new clients, but that I would finish out whatever current client work I had. I made sure that my clients knew that I would be available to make any further revisions for them if I had a current project that was still going on. But for the most part, I tried to finish up everything in advance. And that really helped. I think client work is one of those things that can be the toughest when you are expecting a baby. Because as you know, with a client, you could design a logo or you could do an illustration. And that's it's not necessarily done right away. There might be revisions, they might need new colors, they might need new files, they might need new versions of whatever it is that you've worked on. So I think preparing them in advance and also knowing when you will be available again is all, always a good thing. But I think in that case, if you're allowed to give yourself a month or two off or whatever seems reasonable, you definitely should do that. Um, now, when you have a business where you have employees, that's a little bit that's a little bit easier because you have people who you can prepare, who can help to pick up the slack for when you're gonna be away. Um, and so I think a lot of it is all about preparation and figuring out within the context of your life how you can help to offset the workload for you a little bit in the early months of that maternity leave. Now, once you get back to real life, if you take a leave for two weeks or for two months or for six months or whatever that is, coming back into work is probably the hardest time I think that the hardest challenge as a working mother and especially as a self-employed mother is balancing both things. And I never really like to call it balancing because I think that balancing apply, implies that there's a perfect way to do everything. And I much rather call it a juggle because I literally do feel like every day I'm juggling different components of my life, my personal, my work, my family, my marriage, my friends, my family, and all of that stuff. And so it's really about asking for help. Um, I'm, I'm really difficult with that and I have a really hard time with it, but after becoming a mother, it's something that I have become better at in some ways because I realize that I cannot do everything myself. So that is with childcare, whether that's your nanny, your babysitter, your daycare, your preschool, letting people help you when you can. Um, and also when you're self-employed or when you have your own business, it's making sure that you are hiring people to help you, getting help when you can, making sure that if you don't currently work with other people, if you don't currently have help, is there a position that you could start before your leave to help someone, um, to have someone help you just to maintain the business and to make sure things are still running while you're away or while you're sort of just checking in. So help is the biggest thing. And I say more than anything, you can never be 100% prepared for having a kid. Um, there's, there's never a perfect time. There's never any time when everything is going to be in place, your work, your finances, all of that. You just have to feel ready. Your family just has to feel ready generally, and then you will just make it all work. And all the things that come from having a family will help to override um, all the things that you to juggle. And it's a wonderful, crazy, amazing time. So um, don't be scared and do it when you feel like it's, it's right and right enough. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions you'd like me to address in future videos, please leave them in the comment section below.